So this time of year, a lot of people reach out to me and ask if I know anything about speed training and what to recommend them to do to increase their club head and ball speed for next season. And for a lot of people, they actually produce more speed than they get to the golf ball. So what we're gonna take a look at in this video is how do we make sure we're applying the speed to the correct part of the swing so that we can make sure that speed winds up being converted into ball speed. So make sure to stay tuned to see how that works. So when it comes to speed and creating more speed, a lot of golfers tend to make their ground reaction forces very, very late. And what that means is that they're not creating leverage against the ground, which is not allowing them to basically put the car into gear and to get the golf club shaft to kick, which creates that speed into the ball that's gonna maximize our ball speed. So when it comes to creating speed with the golf club, we have to remember that the golf club is not rigid and we have to bend the shaft, that's super important. And I think for a lot of golfers, especially myself when I was younger, when we would think about making speed, they would always kind of talk about this cracking the whip scenario. And the thing that I don't like about the cracking the whip scenario is that at least myself, I would think about my arms stopping here, my wrist extending, and then the whip cracking right here at impact where the ball would be. Now the issue with that, of course, is that low point has to be moved in front of the ball, and I have to make sure that I've still got some shaft bend and some forward shaft length. So I never want to feel like my right wrist is going into flexion, because when my right wrist is going into flexion, obviously the club face is going shut. So how do we crack this whip more effectively instead of doing it at the ball? Well, we have to understand that when we're bringing the golf club down in transition, we have to crack the whip much sooner than previously thought. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the idea of the timing of when our vertical force happens. So if we take the golf club to the top of our swing, one thing that we know is that the vertical force is going to happen when the club shaft or the peak of the vertical force is gonna happen when the club shaft is about parallel to the ground. And the reason is, is because I'm done moving left with my body. I'm not gonna move any more towards the target here. And now my body is gonna wanna move up, which is gonna make the club wanna move down and across. So that's how that kind of works moving through the ball. So if I'm going to crack the whip where I stop moving left, that would look something more like that. Now, I would feel like if I was cracking a whip, like the crack would happen back there now. But what that's doing, as we can see, is it's kicking the shaft towards the ball. So we're cracking the whip and then decreasing the pressure and allowing the club to go through to the left side while maintaining that vertical force. So cracking the whip earlier really is the secret to creating more speed for most golfers. So a lot of people that try to crack the whip earlier tend to over rotate the body in an effort to try to apply more force to the stick when they're doing the drill. So what we wanna do is we wanna think about when we're doing this drill and we're trying to crack the whip sooner, we wanna make sure that we see that that golf club or the shaft or the stick that we're using is still working down into the ball. We don't wanna see that stick working out in a way which is obviously going to create a much too steep downswing, which is going to have some negative effects on the face-to-path relationship. So when we're doing this drill, it's really about trying to feel like we're getting a good stopping force into the stick and really cracking that whip as the club shaft is getting about parallel to the ground and that's gonna allow people to decrease the pressure from there, let the face square, and then go ahead and rotate through to impact, which is gonna be much more impactful for a lot of golfers who don't get the club and gear and get it released into the ball, than trying to gain more speed, which they still won't be able to release in time and still effectively won't be transferred to the ball. So we hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about cracking the whip sooner to make more club head speed, make sure to leave those questions down below in the comment section. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe while you're there as well. 
If you have any questions that you want to ask directly to me or are interested in working with me on your golf game, please find me by searching my name, Michael Dutro, on the Skillist app. So thanks so much, and until next time, keep grinding.